okay and then we'll discuss about ATU reports there is a third party tool available okay ATU reporter and uh, after that we'll try to see how to run Eclipse in debug mode okay today we'll cover this and tomorrow we'll see about annotations and then headless browser okay how to pass data from xml to pass it in dynamically when program is running right if you want to take any data how to take from xml how to read it from xml and pass we'll see that in tomorrow's class okay now before going to page object model first let me explain one more time whatever we have discussed in last class okay see here I have a class, okay? I have a class. So for click methods to use click enter data, I am extending another class called helper class, okay? Inside helper class, I have a click method. I have enter data method. Two methods I have, okay? I want to use this. That is the reason I am extending this class to my class, okay? After that, see, I wrote a method for login purpose, login and send mail. Okay, I wrote a method to login and send mail. Okay, with valid login credentials, I will try to log into Gmail and I will send the mail. Okay, for that, what we have to do? First, we need to set the property and then open Chrome browser. After that, launch your google.co.inside and then okay after that just i'm trying to read the data from gmail will it come or not okay using get text we can read data so it will print gmail here okay forget about this that is not required now click on gmail and full program i have okay so now if i want to tell to test ng this method is one test case consider this method as one test case okay how to mention okay for that we have something called annotation okay annotation name is test whatever starts with at the rate we call those as annotations okay at the rate test if you mention at the rate test before your method then test ng will consider this method is a test case okay now if you run this program okay it will consider this method it will execute this and after execution it will consider like this is a one test case okay see when you run your program okay if whatever the methods having annotations at the rate test only those methods will be considered like test cases other methods it will not be considered like test cases see here i have another method it doesn't have at the rate so it won't consider like it's a test case and i have another two methods okay so it won't consider those methods as test cases it will consider the method which having at the rate test before the method name is considered like a test case. Now, how to run it? Right click and run as test ng. Okay, for test. Did you guys try the setup installing test ng in your systems? Yes. Okay. See here, this is one simple test case, sending a simple mail, okay? After that, consider we have two more test cases. Another test case is with the invalid mail ID. I want to verify the error message. Another test case is 
with invalid password i want to verify the error messages another test case is with empty password i want to verify the error messages like that consider we have four test cases we implemented those four okay see here it is showing total tests executed are one okay in that fails zero skips zero okay in case if you want to make your test case fail you must use assert dot fail if you want to skip your test case okay throw the exception of skip exception class okay throw the object of skip exception class okay that is what we have discussed in last class right now we will see about page object model what is the use of it see here i have four four test cases total one is login with proper credentials and send mail is one test case another test case is okay other methods also i mentioning as test case by adding at the rate test annotation okay another test case is verify the error messages for invalid user id okay so after click on gmail okay we will try to enter the try to enter some invalid mail id okay and we will get some error messages okay that error messages web element i am trying to read okay from that i am trying to read get text also if a web element itself exist means with this error messages that means we got the error okay just to print the error messages i am doing get text also okay got it similarly another method verify error messages for empty password okay after entering email id i am entering empty password that means not entering any password okay empty string i am passing after clicking on next it should show error messages i am trying to validate the error messages okay i am trying to find an element exist with the error messages or not if it exists means then test passed okay similarly verify error messages for invalid password okay same thing okay here i am passing some invalid password and then trying to verify the error messages let me run it before running we have to make all these test cases as all these methods as test cases for that we must use at the rate test annotation okay at the rate test similarly another method also i am mentioning it as at the rate test okay if you don't mention it will not execute i have another method i don't want to execute this okay that is the reason i did not mention the at the rate test annotation now let me run it see it launched gmail okay sorry google and then it is trying to click on gmail so one test case completed so for second test case it is trying to open again browser okay we'll see
in this case this test case is md password okay so it showed the proper error messages this test case is trying with invalid password so we got the error messages okay now it is trying to execute the test case with invalid mail id and after click on next it showed the error message and will it completed the test will see the results okay see it come executed four test cases out of that zero failures and zero skip that means all are passed you can see here Okay. Is it passed or failed? Yeah. Tell me. When I ran my script and I had written at the test, I didn't get all this in the console. Oh, is it? Um. Do you have? How did you run? Run as? Oh no, like, I did a normal run only. You wrote a Java class. Instead, okay. do you have main method? Uh, I think I didn't do it as run as test ng. That is why. Yeah, we need to run it as test ng. Okay. okay. And the main method also not required. Okay. okay. Write any method and then run it as test ng. Okay. Okay, guys. So output looks like this. Let me show this once again. See, these are the four test cases it executed. is status is it pass or fail okay here in all the test cases what i am doing is just trying to read whether the error messages what is the error messages we got okay just i am trying to print get text from the first time trying to find an element with the error messages if it exists means already test pass because if the error messages doesn't exist we may not find this element itself okay just i want to print the message just i want to show here get text we can use it on elements okay dot get text means from that element it will read the text and it will show similarly here also another case is here get text get text okay wrong password this let me show in console see enter password when you try with the md password it is showing error messages like enter a password in another case with invalid one if you try wrong password try again okay and when we enter wrong the email id okay it is showing enter email id or phone number valid email id or phone number okay got it so like this we can see the results and we can run a method as a test case okay how how to specify a method as test case using the annotation at the right test now if you observe these programs for all these programs okay common thing is setting the property and the launching the chrome driver and then launching google 
in the URL. These three steps are common for all the test cases. Right? All these three, instead of writing in each and every test case, we can move it into a separate method. Okay? Wide public wide. Okay. Write all methods as public because test ng will try to execute it is in different package. Okay. So your method should be public. Launch Google. Okay. Launch browser and Google. See guys, these three steps I am moving into another method. Okay, so let me remove from this also. From all the methods, I am trying to remove setting property and launching browser and uh, launching the URL statements. Okay, now all this method we can call right first line of all the test cases another way is see here in every test case before executing these steps it has to do these three right for every test case it has to execute this method before executing the test case right so there is a prerequisite like I want to execute these statements, okay, before executing each test case. At the time, what you want to do is we have an annotation called at the rate before method. There is an annotation before method, okay. So if you use before method annotation, what it will do is it will execute this before method annotation wherever is available. That method will be executed before executing each test case. Consider now we have four test cases, right? Test case one, two, three. Test one. Test two. Test three. Test four. Like this I have four test cases. For test one, I want to run for all these test cases before executing. I want to launch browser as well as I want to launch the Google URL, okay? That is the reason I wrote another method, launch browser and all, okay? So how to make this test to one test method as test case by using at the rate annotation, right? Similarly, if you want to run particular method before each test case, before each test case, if you want to run this launch method, you must use at the rate before annotation, okay? At the rate before method annotation, okay? Then the method which has at the rate before method, okay, will be executed before executing each test case. Now tell me how it will execute. First it will execute before method, that means launching browser and all consider launch method has before method annotation okay now if you have a class like this you have four test cases okay and a method with at the rate before method annotation now with this if you run your test case first it will execute launch okay it will execute launch and then it will execute test one okay again before executing test two it will execute launch and it will execute test two before executing test three it will execute launch it will execute test three okay similarly before executing test four it will execute launch method Okay, so 
whatever the methods having at the rate test will be considered like a test case okay before executing this test case if you have your class have any methods with the annotation before method those will be executed first before executing your test case and then your test case like that if you have 10 test cases in your class okay that means 10 methods with at the rate test okay and one before method method okay you have 10 test cases and another method with before method okay in that scenario what happens 10 times before method will be executed why because before executing every test case before method will be executed once okay what is there inside before launching browser and then launching the google url okay that is the reason whatever is required for all the test cases i moved those statements into before method okay before method annotated method okay method name is launch browser and open google okay so this launch browser and open google will be automatically executed before executing each test case let me run it once similarly we have something called after method okay what after method will do is it will try to execute after method annotated method okay after method annotated method after executing each test case so when how how do we know what all annotations are present in test engine and we can utilize them yeah uh, uh, that list tomorrow i will explain only annotations in tomorrow's class we are going to cover okay okay very few we have around 10 12 okay Okay. See here, in this example, we did, test case doesn't have this precondition of launching browser and opening Google URL. Okay, automatically, it, this method, which has that code of opening browser and launching the URL, gets executed because that code is available in at the rate before method. Similarly, we have something called after method. After executing each test case, see here, here number of browsers. If you observe here, it keep on increasing. So after executing the test case, you want to close that browser. Okay? You want to close that browser. So closing related statements, you write inside after method, annotated method. Write a method, okay, close browser. Okay, like that one method. Before that method, you keep the annotation at the rate after method. So that after executing each test case, it will execute. Now, tell me you have five test cases, okay, in your class. That means five methods with the annotation at the rate test, okay. In addition to that, you have two more methods, one method annotated with before method, another method, after method, okay? Now, how many times before method will be executed? Five times. Similarly, after method also, it will execute five times, okay? Any doubt in this? Now, yeah, it completed. Okay, four test cases. Okay, see, four test cases. Okay, it executed four. Hmm? No doubt in this side. Right? Now, if I instead of Closing every time browser after executing the test case, if you want to use 
close method. We discussed in last class, we have a method called close. Okay. If you use that, it will close only one browser instance where R1 tab, where currently control is available. If you use quit, it will close all, all the browser instances which are open through the to driver object. Okay. Now, let me write another method. Public wide close close browser. Okay. So inside close browser, what we supposed to write? Driver dot either close or quit. I am using quit. Okay. Now we should use a an annotation at the rate after method. Okay. So whenever you use annotation, its corresponding class we should import. Okay. We discussed about import, right? When we discuss about packages, okay, we discussed about import. This class is available in some package org dot testng dot annotations dot after after method is a class it is available in a package org dot testng dot annotations package this package how did we get this source code okay this code full package or project okay they made it as a jar and they gave it to us whenever you add testng jar to your build path then automatically it will identify these classes, okay? And it will show you a hint like this method is not imported. Consider you deleted it, okay? See here. Uh, how is it identifying and showing in quick fixes? Because this class is available in build path, that's why it is showing hint. Just click on import, then it will do, okay? Now, whatever the browsers it will open, automatically it will delete also because after executing every test case, it will execute after method also. In after method, we wrote the statements of closing the browser. Okay. Now, consider I have an application. Consider Gmail itself. Okay. First page we got like this. This is Google page. Whatever we are seeing right now is Google page, right? Now, from Google page to we are redirecting to another page. We are redirecting to another page. That is Gmail sign-in page, right? This is Gmail sign-in page. After that, we are redirecting to another page called, another page called Gmail home page, right? Gmail home page. After that, after click on compose, you will get another iframe or some other element, okay, to enter another small window to send mail. That means whatever we got new message related. This is another window or another page, okay. You consider in our application, we are traversing through multiple pages, right? One is Google home page. Another one is Gmail login page. Another one is Gmail home page. Another one is new message page. Okay. Each page, see here, this is Gmail login page. Okay. This is having so many options like sign in option. After click on sign in, you will get email option, enter email, and next option. Okay. After that, enter password option. Again, next option like this. Whenever you go to a page, it will be having so many web elements, okay? So on those web elements only, we will perform the operations, either clicking data, sorry, clicking the web element or entering data into the web elements, okay? Now, in page object model, what we do is, whatever the application we are using, first we are going to divide that application into pages. Okay, see here, in Gmail, sending Gmail only, you consider one example, in that we have four pages, 
one is gmail page let me order see guys here we used another annotation right close windows or close browser with annotation at the rate after method so the currently executing program will run like this first it will launch execute test case one and again execute after method annotated one what is that close browser you need not to call that method every time okay automatically test ng will take care if you use that appropriate annotation it will take care okay it will execute in this fashion actually okay launch and test case one close browser launch test case two close browser launch test case execute test case three and similarly how many test cases you have in a similar fashion it will execute all those okay now automatically it closes the browsers also okay right we did not close the browsers manually because automatically close browser method executed after every test case now we are going to discuss about page object okay so each page okay now how many pages are there in our web application we saw just now we have seen four five pages are there what are those one is google home page right another one login page or gmail login page okay another one after gmail login page what is the page gmail home page this one is up to you how will you divide into pages even if it is a small like new message one if you want to make it as a page you write it as a page okay so new mail page okay so like this you how you traverse it through multiple pages okay so in page object model what we will do is this is called page object model whatever we are going to discuss it now what is the advantage of it we will see soon okay in page object model okay you are traversing to multiple pages right so each page you write like one class each page you write like a class see here each page you write like a no class okay for example some of the things like whatever we have seen sometimes when we discuss about multiple windows after we discuss about login page of city bank see here first gmail we and sorry google page we open gmail page and then city bank let me see city bank and sir this is city bank login page or main page you can consider like city bank main page okay so you can write a class called city bank main page okay and after click on login now you got a new tab this is also a new page either new tab or new window or traversing to new page okay all those are called as new classes okay so each page okay traversing to new page is also a new class or new window is also a new class or if it is a new tab that is also new page only right so each page is considered like one class okay so you write a class for each page 
you write a class. Okay, so each page we are writing one class. Got it? Now, similarly, all the pages, how many pages you have, for all those pages you write classes. Okay? Here, another one class. Like this four classes you wrote. Okay? See here, inside class, what you are supposed to write is the options whatever are available in that page. For those options, you write methods. Okay? Generally, inside class, what we will write? Methods. Right? Inside class, we will write methods. What methods we supposed to write inside these classes is the options whatever supported. Okay? In that page is like one one method inside this class. First thing is each page is one class. Right? Now, inside class inside class what you are supposed to write? Options of right methods for each option. Okay? For example, now take Google Home Page class. Okay? Google Home Page. Let me open it. See, this is Google Home Page. Right? Here, what are the options available? One is click on Gmail. Right? Another one is click on Images. Another one is click on sign in. Another one is enter data in this search field. Like this, whatever the options are available in this, okay? For each option, one one method you implement inside Google home page, okay? Now, what are the methods? Tell me. Click, click on Gmail. Okay, inside that we will write the logic of clicking on Gmail. Okay, what is the logic to click on Gmail? XPath call click method. Okay, and pass XPath driver object. Forget about driver object for now. Gmail XPath of Gmail. XPath of Gmail. Okay. Got it? Write another method in the same Google home page. How many options are there? Those many methods we will get. See here, another one. Click on images. Okay? Click on images. Okay? In click on images, same. Okay? Write the logic of how to click. See here, X path of images, so that that click method will click. Got it? This click and all by default we won't get, right? So, helper class. If you extend helper class, helper class has this click methods. If you pass X path, it will click on that element. Got it? Now, like this, we have to write multiple classes, okay? So, for each page, one class will write. Inside that class, we have to write a method for each option. Okay? Whatever the option you have for that. For example, this is the search field entering for data. Okay? So, enter data into search field. Like that, you can write another method. Enter data to search field. Another method. Like that, in each page, Whatever the options available for those, you try to write methods. Okay. Now, what is the use of writing like these classes and inside that for each page one class, inside class, whatever the options available in that page for that one one method inside the class. What is the benefit of it? Now, you have a big application. You implemented some methods. 
if you write your own class and if you implement there, okay, how others will know? Where is it available and all? Right? So they don't know is that method is already implemented to click on Gmail or click on images. Right? If you have a proper class, okay, if you have a proper class with the proper name, like this is Gmail homepage, okay, write a class with Gmail homepage. Inside that, what they will do, they will go and check inside that class whether required method click on Gmail is somebody implemented it already or do I need to implement. If it is already implemented, they can find it there. If it is not there, they will try to implement that method. Next time someone, someone wants to use it, they can right away, they can use it. Okay, instead of searching all the classes. Okay, because in our applications, testing and all, we will be traversing to n number of pages. Each page is having hundreds of options. Okay, if you, how to write that click method or any option related to any option, one method will write. Where to write that method? Okay, we don't know exactly. If you write in class A, if you are interested, suppose you wrote in class A all the methods of this, how others will understand this method is already available and it is available in some class. That is very difficult. To avoid that confusion and to make our coding easy, okay? So to make our process easy, if you follow this page object model, it is very easy to identify whether that methods are already implemented or not, if it is already implemented, in which class it is available, all those things without seeing code we can tell, right? So if it is not there, we'll go to that particular class and we'll try to implement the new methods. Okay, that is the use of following this page object model. Got it guys, any doubt in this? Hello? No. no doubt, right? If it is a new window also, consider like a new page. If new window opens, their new page will be there, right? For that also, write one class, okay? Now, let me start, let me divide this program, full program into page object model, okay? So, all pages, so here just click and all will be there. In another class, we'll write to implement test cases with at the rate test in that class. Okay, like this, so many classes are there, so many pages are there. Okay, inside that, all methods are there. <coughs> now, I will write another class to implement my test cases. Okay, first, let me implement all pages. Okay, see here. This is the default package. Now, all pages I will keep in one package. Okay, package, pages package, consider. Okay, pages package. So, all pages will be available inside this. Okay, now, what are the pages? Tell me. Google home page. That is one class. Okay. Now, another class, after Google, after click on Gmail, whatever you will get, that will consider like Gmail page, okay? So, Gmail login page, okay? Now, another class, Gmail home page. Gmail home page. Now, new message. To send a new message, after click on compose, we'll get a small window, right? Small page that we consider like new page. Sorry, new mail page. Okay, new mail page. Okay, now all pages are here. Okay, now inside Gmail. What are the methods I supposed to write? Tell me guys, what are the methods I supposed to write? Public, wide, 
click on gmail right click on gmail if somebody calls you should click on it okay generally to click on gmail what are the two things required one is xpath right another one is driver object is required right so driver object let me create a driver object here itself web driver web driver driver equal to new chrome driver okay got it new chrome driver okay now you import this and import this one also okay after that driver dot okay driver up see here already click method before clicking you need to wait till that element loads otherwise what happens click will fail okay that is the reason i am going to use the helper class already we discussed it yesterday i mean in last class see here helper class what is where is it available see here helper class so i am trying to extends helper class okay if i extend helper class what benefit i will get or else let me write the helper also in the same one we'll see later we'll divide it okay so helper class we wrote that the helper class is having actually click logic and enter data okay into the fields what it will expect it will expect appropriate element xpath okay and driver object and how much time it has to wait max okay these three fields it will expect okay so gmail click on gmail so call click method okay so pass driver and xpath of or gmail okay gmail xpath and time how much time it's supposed to wait max okay 10 seconds is fine okay if you want you can set more time also no problem because whenever it finds immediately it will proceed okay now what is the xpath of gmail we need to pass those are already there see here what is the xpath of gmail see i am going to take it from here all the xpaths i am not finding it again and again okay see here gmail xpath so if i call click method in gmail home page i am writing a click method okay to click on gmail so i must pass gmail and a driver object also because to call find method okay inside click i want to call find method okay or i want to pass driver object to web driver wait so i must need driver object also that is why we are passing driver object as well as this gmail okay xpath and some type okay like this with two three lines we'll write simple methods okay see here tomorrow somebody wants to add click on images how will they write click on images and images xpath this is the xpath of images whatever we are seeing here that is the xpath of that okay now like this i have two methods then fine okay every time do i need to create chrome driver tell me guys this one here one more step i am going to do listen carefully here see here web driver driver equal to new chrome driver or chrome driver driver equal to new chrome driver what it will do it will 
open or it will launch the browser right so whenever you execute this it will open one 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 browser like that ten number of browsers it will execute okay is this required every time no right one time only enough right throughout our program execution one time launching the browser is enough is it correct or not so don't use this driver object creation every time just you create a variable okay web driver okay web driver driver one instance variable okay every time i will come to this point soon okay you write the constructor also the guy who will call this click on gmail okay the guy who will call this click on gmail he will pass you that driver object okay he will pass you the driver object is it clear guys okay or another way here instead of passing from here what we can do is another way write a constructor okay so gmail this what is constructor hello what is constructor it's like a method same name as class name right so i am writing a constructor the the guy someone wants to call this click on gmail what he needs he needs object of gmail home page sorry this is google right sorry all this we need to write inside google right google page sorry guys so all these options are available in google home page right is it clear hello extends helper class okay see if someone wants to call click on gmail how to call they must need object of this class right google home page because this method is available in google home page okay or someone wants to call click on gmail first they have to find in which class that method is available that class object they want to create okay and then using that object using that object they can call these methods right am i correct see here consider whenever they create object automatically constructor will be executed that at the time of creating object okay at the time of creating object they will pass driver object okay drive driver instance as an argument to constructor that only i am assigning to this instance variable okay so that whatever they will pass that will come to this class okay that i am assigning to driver instance instance variable so this instance variable line number 7 i am assigning with the one which they pass at the time of creating object right so that will be available to all the methods of this class so that that only we are passing to click So, so from where will the browser launch? Driver launch. That, that we will write in test, test play test case, case one time, time launch browser. browser. Okay. 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 Like, like this. Consider, consider you have classes. classes. Okay. okay. Now, now let, let me go through another one. Or else here, here only write right. test, test case. case. Test, test cases. cases. Like, like that, that I wrote another, another class. class. Okay. okay here whatever we want to write as a test case first one okay going to write like public wide send mail okay i want to send a mail 
So, to send the mail, first what I suppose to do? First, to do this is a test case, we will need to use at the rate test. Right? So, so this, this is one test case. case. Inside, Inside that, that we will write, write the code how to, how to send mail. mail. Okay. See, See here. At the rate, the rate test. When, when you write at the rate test, test it is showing cannot be resolved. Why, why all test cases should, should be public wide send mail. mail. Correct. Now, now, if you, if you write, write public, public then, then it will show import statement. Okay? okay? Got, Got it? Now, now this, this is one, one test case. case. Here, Here actually, actually we need to write, write the logic of sending mail. mail. Okay? Here, Here I, I don't use any method, method or anything. Just, just I will, I will say click Gmail. Gmail. Click on Gmail. Gmail. Like, like that, that I will call the methods. methods. Okay, before that, let me write one more thing. Before, Before executing each test, test case, case, consider another, another test case, case I have. Invalid mail ID. Invalid mail ID. Error message. Okay, like, like these two test cases are there. there. For, For all, all these test cases, cases what, what is required? required? First, First one, what, what is required? Launching, launching browser, browser right? right? Launch, launch browser. browser. So, so launch, launch browser, browser, another one, one I am writing. Public, public wide launch, launch browser, browser at, at the rate, rate before, before test, test right? right? Before, before test. test. Now, now import the annotation. annotation. Inside, Inside this, what I am supposed to write? write? Launching, launching the browser, browser. right? Launching, launching the browser. browser. It, it is already there in our example. example. Just, Just trying, trying to copy paste. To launch browser, these things, things are required. required. Let, Let me copy paste both. Quit, quit also. also. Okay. okay. And. Did you send us another one? Uh, what is the difference between before method and before test? Before method and before test. Okay, okay. before method will be executed before each test case. Okay, uh, let, let me go through another one. Give me a minute, I will show that. See, one, one minute, guys. After this, we will come back to that program. Is, is it understanding? How are we writing pages, pages and all? Yeah. Because, because I can write that and I can show directly, but, but now in front of you guys, if I try to write, it is very easy. You can try tomorrow while uh, automating your projects. Okay. See, another way I can directly write and come and show this is how we will write and all. Maybe it's a bit. Later, Later, when you, you try, try to automate, it will be a bit difficult. That's why I am writing simple, simple one. Okay? okay. See, See, guys, we will go, we'll go back, back to that, that program in a minute. See, See generally, generally, we will write classes. classes. Inside, Inside class, at the rate test. test. At the rate, rate test, test, one test case. At the rate test, test second test case. case. Like, like that, that, inside a class, you have, have something called test case. Right? So, like that, you have so many classes. All these we group into, into one category, category that, that we call it as test. test. Okay? okay? Got it? Now, now if, if you use at the rate before, before method, method inside any class, okay, okay? At, at the rate, rate before method in any class, class it, it will be executing every time before executing the test case. Before executing at the rate test. test. Okay? okay? That's, That's what, what we have, have seen in previous example also. Now, now if you use at the rate before test, test for, for all these classes, we group we group all these into one test. test. Okay? okay? So, so if you use before, before test, test, consider here three, three classes you have. have. Okay? okay? Three, three classes have 10, 10, 10, 10 test cases. cases. Before, before executing these 30, 30 test cases, one, one time, all these we consider like one test. Okay? okay? 
all these classes we can group into one test we can give the name for this test at the rate before test if you write some method okay for example hello okay inside a method hello statement is there before that method if you use at the rate before test that at, at the rate, rate before test will be executed one time before executing all, all these test, test cases. cases. Got, Got it? it? So, so test, test cases, cases grouped into class, multiple classes grouped into test, test. Multiple, multiple tests grouped into suit. Okay? okay? Before, before executing, executing all test cases, cases of that suit, if you want to run one, one time something, something. Okay? okay? At, at that time, you use, use at the rate, rate before, before test. test. Similarly, all, all test cases, cases of your test, test if you, you want, want to run, run some precondition one, one time, time. Okay? okay? You, you use before, before test. test. Those, Those annotations, annotations we'll see tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay? okay? Upasana got, got it? Yeah. 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 See, see here, here. Driver. driver driver object see, see here one test case, case same, same statement of here web driver i can, I can write, write like this web driver driver equal to new driver like this what, what happens is see i discussed, discussed it some time back whenever you create object what, what happens what happens it, it will uh, launch, launch the, the new browser, browser right, right? So, so and uh, if, if i declare this web driver also inside this method it is local to this method itself right so it is not available to other methods so one time only you create object or even though if you create multiple times just to you declare a variable driver here Based on test case, case every time you do it. So, so here, here all the members, members will get driver object. Okay. okay. Based, Based on, on test case, case they, they will create, create object inside, inside that. that. Okay. okay. Got, Got it. it. Hello. Hello? Guys, Guys, any, any doubt, doubt in this? this? See, See web, web driver instance. Variable, variable I am creating. So, so instance, instance variables are accessible by all the methods. That means all test cases, cases can access. Can access. Right? right? Here. Here. Whatever, whatever the methods send mail and or whatever you are going to use. Okay? okay? All, all can use whatever, whatever the methods you are going to implement. implement. All, all methods can use this driver. driver. Here, Here we are, are creating. Got it? Now, let me implement the test case, case you will understand soon so, so now, now i want, want to send a mail what we supposed to do automatically launch browser and open google will be executed because it that code is available in before method right now from here i need to start accessing the elements of google home page after launching google page what i supposed to do i need to click on Click, click on, on Gmail, Gmail method, method I need to call. call right? right? Where, Where is it available? It, it is available in Google, Google home page. Right? right? Click, click on Gmail. Gmail. How, How can, can I get this? How, How can, can I get this? this? Click on Gmail. To use that one, I must, I must create, create object of Google, Google home page class. class right? right? Got, Got it? See, See how to access members of any class. How, How to access, access members of any class? We, we must create object and then, then use it. Okay. Here, Here while creating the object of that class, you pass the driver instance which is created in line number 19. Okay. So, so that, that will go to that class. So no need to create everywhere. So you are passing to constructor. So it will come and in line number 10, it will be assigning to instance variable so, so that, that the driver, driver object is available, available to click on gmail, gmail. Okay. okay so click on gmail, gmail automatically it will do click by, by taking the driver instance and x path okay, okay. Now, now 
using this Google page object, click on Gmail or images. Which one you want to use for your test case, you call that method. Okay, this is my test case, consider. It will execute now, let me see. After, after click, click on Gmail, Gmail which, which one I supposed to use? See, See guys, after, after click on Gmail, Gmail I, will I will get login, login page, page, right? Guys, is, is it clear? After, after click, click on Gmail, Gmail what happens? We will, we will get, get Gmail login, login page, page, right? So, so inside Gmail login, login page, page, entering data and all, all those will be there. So, so related to entering email ID, password, that, that code, code will move it into Gmail, Gmail. login page. See, See here. here. See, See click, click on next, click, click on enter, enter password, password, all the code, code I am moving into Gmail, Gmail login page. page. See, See here, in Gmail, Gmail login page, page what, what are the options, options available? available? What, what are, are the options, options available in Gmail, Gmail login page? After, after click, click on Gmail, Gmail right? right? You, you may get sign in, right? Wide public wide. Click on sign in. Okay? Click on sign in if you call automatically, it will click. What is there inside that? It will do that. that. See here, click on sign in. This is the code related to click on sign in. See, XPath, sign in XPath is available. So, whenever you call click method, you need to pass driver instance also. How do you get driver instance? Using constructor. Right. right, you, you create, create a constructor, constructor here, web driver, same as previous one. Let, let me, me copy paste. paste. Okay. The, the guy, guy who wants to call, click on sign in. They, they have, have to create object of this class. Where is that? See here, here. Public, public class Gmail, just convert it into, into constructor. constructor. Okay. okay, now this is our driver. What, what it will do? When, when local, local variable names and, and instance, instance variable names are same, same it, it will take the local, local variable value and, and assign assigning to instance variable name. name. Okay. okay, assigning the value, value to instance, instance variable. variable. So, so click, click and all will get. All pages must extend helper class because helper class only having click method and all. Okay, so now click on Gmail. Got it? Guys, any doubt in this? See here, click on sign in. Public wide written type is missing. Okay, public wide click on sign in. Like this, sign in method somebody implemented. Now, Similarly, another, another one. Click, click on. After, after click on sign in, we will get the login page, page right? In that, that login page, page only, we are going to enter password. password. Okay? okay? Enter, enter password. password. Sorry, Sorry, enter mail ID. Public, public wide, enter mail, mail ID. So, so to enter mail ID, ID just, just copy paste these two lines, lines of code. Okay. okay. So, so what, what it will do? Only one line. line. Sorry. Enter, enter mail, mail ID. Okay. okay. Now, now public wide enter, enter or click on, on next. Because after entering username, he is supposed to enter or he is supposed to click on next. Okay, after click on next, he has to 
then enter, enter password and, and then next step. Okay. okay. So, so what, what are the other two methods? methods? Tell me. Public, wide, enter, password. So, enter password related statement. Move it to there. Okay. Now, public, wide, click on next, already it is there, no need to click second time. Okay, no need to click second time. Okay, so same method, you will click on that. So like this, we have login page methods. Now, come to test case. Okay, this is how we started implementing test case. Google, click, click on Gmail. After click on Gmail, what we supposed to do? Guys, what we supposed to do? We need to... Which method we supposed to call? Click on sign in, right? Click on sign in. If sign in comes, if it doesn't come, click on... Uh, sorry, enter mail ID, right? So those are available inside this one. There is a class Gmail login page. So you want, want to call, call those methods. methods. How, how to call? How, how to call? Gmail page object, page object. Okay. okay? Equal to new Gmail. Okay. okay. So, so driver, driver object, object is required for every class. class. Whenever, Whenever you create object of that, that class, you, you pass that object. object. Okay, okay, whenever you create object of that class, you pass drive object in constructor. Okay, so it will go to that class, here they will try to use the same driver in all the methods. Okay, got it? So, see here now, what is the next step? Gmail. Dot. Click on sign in. Okay. And Gmail dot enter mail ID. Okay. Gmail dot enter password. Okay. Gmail dot enter. Before entering password, what we supposed to do? Click on next. Right. Gmail dot click on next and the same click on next one more time we need to do. When you do this, what happens? It will got it guys till here. What did we do? Hello? Is it clear or any doubt? Any confusion in this? What, what about, about others? others? I'm, I'm not, not getting, getting any response. response. Hello? Hello? It's clear. Yeah, it's fine, my good. Okay, okay, right? Uh, understanding, right? So, so after the completion of this full program, program I will come, come back, back and explain one more time. time. Okay. okay? Now, now see, see here, what, what are we doing is, we are, are dividing whatever the pages we have in our project. Each page we consider like one class. Right? In that page whatever the options are available. See here. Gmail home page is one page. Right? For that I wrote one class. Inside that class whatever the options are available for that I am implementing one, one method. Okay? See, in the implementing for each option one, one method. Okay? Here two are clicks. Okay, okay, some, some might, might be having, having entering data, data also, those, those right? right? Whenever, Whenever you want, want to click, already we have one helper class and I'm calling that click method by passing our XPath. In addition to XPath, you, you need to pass how much time it has, has to wait and, and one, one more is driver, driver object. object. Okay? How, how do we get driver, driver object throughout our program, program if you want to use only one driver? driver. If you, if you create, create multiple, multiple, multiple browsers, browsers, will open and all. 
right? right? In, in every, every class, class, if you, you use driver equal to new probe driver, driver, what happens? Yeah, Whenever you use new probe driver, automatically new browser will uh, open. That, that driver, driver is related to the newly opened browser. browser. But, but what we have, have to do is, throughout the, our, our test case, case same, same browser only, that, that, driver, that driver which points to that, that browser, browser we, we have to pass through all the classes. Wherever you are calling method, any class method you want to use, for, for that class you create object. object. While creating the object, you pass this driver instance so that same, same thing will be used in all the, the classes. Okay? Now, see here, click, click on next. After that, what, what we supposed to write? Another one. one. New. After, After click on next, we will, we will get Gmail, Gmail homepage. homepage. Okay. okay. So, so in, in Gmail, Gmail homepage, what, what are, are the methods available? Tell, tell me. Public, wide, click on, compose option. Right. So, so one is compose option. option. You will be having, having so many. In, in our case, case just, just I implemented only click on compose for sending new mail. mail. If, if somebody, somebody wants to click on inbox, they, they can write tomorrow another method public, wide, click on, click on inbox. Like, like this, they can implement another method. Inside that, they can call click method. Okay? They can call click method. Okay? By passing xpath of inbox xpath. Inbox xpath. And time how much is up to wait. Like, like that, that right? right? So, so all, all the pages, pages needs same driver, driver object. How, How do we get? You write, write the constructor, and the, the guy who will create object for this class, class they will pass that object, object right? right? Web, Web driver, driver, and see. They, they are, are passing, passing to Jim this constructor. constructor. It, it is this driver, whatever they are passing in line number eight, is in local. So only constructor can use it. That, that is the reason I am trying to assign the same value to instance variable driver. Right? So that other methods also can use it. Got it? Now. So all these guys can use. Now tell me, click on compose. How to do? Click, click on, on compose. compose. Okay. See, See here. here. Go, Go to our program and click on compose. compose. Where is that? This, this one. one. Click, click on compose. compose. Okay. You take, take that text, text path and, and right here. here. Gmail home page. Click on compose related. Okay. Drive. Okay. Got, Got it? So, so click, click on compose is available now. now. So, so in, in my, my test case, case after, after this one, one after, after click on next, what, what I supposed to do? I need to click on compose, right? right? So, so how to click on compose? That is available in another class. class. What, what is that class? Gmail home page. So, so if I want to use this method, what I supposed to do? What I supposed to do? I need to create object of that, okay? And Using that, that object, object, you, you call, call the method. method. Okay. Compose, Compose method, method, you call. Driver, what, what is the object name? name? Home, Home dot. Compose. Click on Compose. Okay. okay. Got, Got it? it? After, After click on Compose, we will, we will get another, another window. Right? right? Small, Small window to send, to send new, new mail. mail. So, so here, here we need to implement the, the class methods like, like whatever, whatever the options available in that new one, one right? right? So, so all, all pages should extend helper class because these pages are going to use actual clicks, send keys, all the methods are available inside these pages only, right? These pages methods, you just click and send these methods. 
Okay, okay those, those are available, available in helper class. class. That's why I'm extending. So, so per, per constructor, so all methods. So, so this, this is also required. required. See, See here. here. Because, because if you want, want to perform, perform operation, operation like, like click and all, what do you need? Inertia to X path, you need driver object also. The guy who wants to use methods of this class, they will create object and they will pass the driver. Right? See here now. Enter public void enter data to to field data to to field okay, okay. Now, now how, how to enter data to to field that code, code whatever we have, have here, here this, this one, one. Enter data to two field. What data now? Just copy paste that one inside this one. After that, take other two also and write another two methods. So new mail, it open new page. There, another method. Enter data to subject field. Okay, this, this is, is the export of subject field, field and the time and all already this is there. Okay, now, now public wide click on send. Okay, okay. So, so send inside that, write the, the code of sending. Okay. okay. So, so whenever, whenever you see here, what happening is, if you, if you take simple program here, one program, program every time you are using the same driver which you created here, here. Right? right? So, this, this is in one class, class only, so directly you, here you declare the instance variable, you are assigning value here, okay, okay. declared variable in line 9, and, and assigning in 916, and it is uh, instance variable, so you can use in all the methods, in all the test cases of here, right? Here, everywhere. But, but in this case, what are we doing? We are traversing to multiple classes. Earlier case, everything is available in one class only. So one time, if you assign value to this driver, <laughs> using line, line number 16 and 9, then, then that driver, driver can, can be used by all the methods or all, all the test cases. cases. Right? But, but in this page object, page you are traversing, traversing to multiple pages. pages. Okay. okay. So, so driver, driver object, object always you need to pass it to every page. page. How, How to pass it? it? Whenever you create object of that page, that means that page means that the class which is responsible for that page. Whenever, Whenever you create, create object, object of that class, then, then pass this driver, driver as object. Then that page, page will receive and, and use it. Okay, okay. How, how it will receive? Using, using constructor. constructor. If you pass, it will, it will take. take. Okay, okay, like, like this. this. And then immediately constructor gets executed, right? Whenever you create object, at that time constructor gets executed, it will take and it will assign to the class instance variable. So, so all the, the methods can access, can access the same, same driver now. Now, now driver, driver is available to all the methods of this class only. Now, now see here, here by writing in test case, case, how many, many pages we are traversing? traversing one, one page, page two page, second page, page third page, 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 like then multiple pages. pages. That's, That's why you pass driver object one, one time whatever you created here. here using constructor, constructor at, at the, the time of creating object. object. So, so that, that same driver is available to all the classes. Okay. okay. Now, now, after, after click, click on compose, compose we will get new, new that, that two, two option and all you will get, get in another, another class. Right. right? So, so that, that class name is this. this. So new is rls send mail. mail. In the mail base. Okay. okay. And driver. Uh, 
a no ser que me dais, estar a ver. Using send mail, what you can do? Dot. They enter data to do field. And using same object, you call enter data to subject field. And then using same object, you can call enter data to. Sorry, not enter. Click on submit. Click on send. Right? See here. Now, now this is one test case. case. Okay. Other test cases we will see later. Let me comment this. This is one test case. Now, is it clear? One test case is there. I am going to run it. Okay. See here. Here, wherever you are writing test cases. That, that I made it separate class. class. Okay, okay, there the, the method which implement test case I made it as at the rate test. But, but in pages at the rate test and all are not there because we are, we are not running these as test, test cases. cases. As, as part, part of test, test cases, cases, test case method will call those methods by creating the object. object. Got, Got it? it? Now, now let, let me run, run it. it. See guys, here it failed and it is showing some error. Let, Let me see. see. Null pointer. It is showing after method close browser configuration fail. Let, Let me check once. See here, first we created one driver instance. Okay, and, and then, then okay. okay. Got, Got it, guys? guys. What, what is, is the problem? problem? See here, here, uh, here all these test, test cases, cases are trying, trying to use this driver. driver. Okay, okay. So see, first, first to see, see the error message. message. Null pointer exception. Okay, when, when do we get null pointer? pointer? If, if your object Okay, okay, or your reference variable is not pointing to any object and, and it holds the value of null. Okay, okay generally, whenever you declare like this, what happens? Instance variables default initialization by default will get null to class name type variables, right? So driver will get null, right? Now, here in this line number 19, Instead of assigning to the driver which I declared in line number 12, what I did by mistake, here also I declared one more. So this driver is separate and this is separate. Okay, whatever I am creating in line number 19, it is available to only launch browser and open Google page. Still there only it is available because here, Here another, another declaration, declaration I did. did. Okay. okay. Instead of this, this what you have, have to do, you need to assign the driver, driver whatever you are creating here, here that, that you assign to the instance variable of 12. Okay. okay. Earlier, what, what we did, by mistake here, here we have code like this, web driver. driver. That, that means, instead of assigning to this one, one here, here only we create one local, local one. one. That, that local one will die after executing line, line number 21. It will... Okay. okay. Now, now when, when it comes to line number 30, 30 it, it is expecting driver. driver. 
okay that, that driver, driver is, is it available really, really? No. no here, here none is there, there. that none only, only we are, are passing to google chrome, chrome. Okay. okay google, google home, home page sorry, sorry. Here, here we are, we are assigning. assigning and, and then, then this click, click method will use. use when it try, try to use here here it will fail with the null, null. Okay. okay got, got it, it? Got, got it, guys? What what is, why do we get null pointer exception? Your, your driver, driver which, which has null value, value you, are you are passing to use in further interactions. interactions. Reason, by, by mistake, here we declare instead of assigning new Chrome driver object to this line number 12 driver, by mistake, here we declare another local web driver variable and, and we assign to it. That's why we hit that, that issue. Now, now let, let me run it. it. We changed it. We will see now. now. Okay, okay, now, now driver, driver object contains some data. data. Okay. okay. Gmail ID with invalid, invalid mail ID error. error. 
Okay. So, so what, what I will do? I'm, I'm going to do same thing. thing. Before, Before going, going to that, that second method, method, let me explain, explain one, one more thing here. here. Guys, here, here how many times you are creating the object? object? Hello? How many, how many times you are creating the object? object? How, how many pages you are traversing? Those, those many times you are creating objects. objects. Right? right? Suppose if, if you are traversing to 100 pages, pages, if you are traversing to 100 pages for your test case, case you, you need to create like this 100 page objects, objects right? right? To, to access, access the methods, methods of those pages, pages or to use the options of those pages, right? right? So, so instead, instead of this one, one what, what you can, can do is first time you create Gmail start page one. one. Okay, next, next time onwards, after click on Gmail, what, what is happening? It is redirecting to a new page called Gmail login page. page right? right? Now, this, this method, whenever, whenever you are after clicking on, on see here, here till, till now, whatever the written types we have is wide wide till now. See, see, after, after click, click on, on see, see this, this Gmail. Gmail. After, after click, click on Gmail, Gmail in this page. page. After, after click, click on Gmail, Gmail is it redirecting to new class or new, new page? Then, then what, what you can do is, here, here what, what you can do is, you can, can return object of the new class. class. Okay. okay, how, how to create object? How to create object? New and that class. See here. After click on Gmail, what is the output? We will get the Gmail login page, right? So Gmail login page is a new class. So what you can do is you return the object of that new class. Return object. How to create object? How to create object? New and class name, okay. Gmail login page, okay. And to create the object, that constructor is expected driver object. So you need to pass this one also. And you change the written type to because it is returning Gmail login page class object. So written type is it is returning Gmail object. So you put Gmail login page. Written type. type. Okay. okay. Like, like this, you, you can, can do, if you do these things here, here in your, your program, program, you need, need not to create object. object. This, this step you can avoid. Because, see here, this step, step what, what is it doing? It is, it is creating object. object. After, after click on Gmail, Gmail, after, after click on Gmail, what is it happening? It, it is redirecting to new page. page. That, that means output of this click on Gmail is a new page. page. That, that means if, if any click is leading to or causing to new page, then you make the written type of that click method is the new page object. See here. Here, after, after click on Gmail, it is returning to Gmail login page. page. So, so it is, is a new page. page. That, that is why you have written the object of that new page. page. Okay. okay. So, so when the guys, guys so who will call click on Gmail, for them, them click will happen, happen in addition to that, that it is returning the object of that new page. page. Okay. okay. So, so without creating the object, directly they, they can see here. here. Click on, on Gmail. What, what it, will it will do? It will click, click on Gmail and in addition to that, it is returning the object of Gmail login page class. So, object you got, got it. As, see, the output of this blue color is not only click on Gmail, in addition to clicking on Gmail, it will return the object of that, that new page, page Gmail login, login page, page object, object because inside, inside click, method, click, click on Gmail, you have implemented, implemented returning the object of new page. page. This, this click, click is causing to new page, page. That's, that's why that, that new page, page object I am returning. returning. Whenever, Whenever you return that, okay, the so next step, step here, 
no need, need to create this explicitly in this case, case because directly the click, click method only will give you the new class, class or new page object. object. So, so directly you can do click on sign in, see here, here. Because, because it is giving the object of login page, page right? So, so inside, inside login, login page, whatever, whatever the methods are available, you can call all those, those. See, see here, click on sign in, right? Click on sign in. Got, Got it? it? This, this one, one direct without, without using that object, object without, without creating object, object, you are doing, doing this. Why? Why? Because in addition to click on Gmail, Gmail this, this method is giving the object of, of this. So, so for, for all, all the methods, you need, need to change the return, return type, type now. now. Okay? Now, now what, what return, return type you are supposed to give? give? If Click on any method, method whatever, whatever it might be, that, that is clicking or entering, entering data, data into a field or whatever it may be. That, that method, method output is on the same page means after performing that, that operation. operation. Here, Here this operation, operation is click, click on Gmail. Gmail. This operation is click on images. images. After, after doing, doing this method, method operation, still you are on the same page, page means you return, return this. this. This means same page object. object. What, what is this? This always points to current class object. That means the same page object only we will be having. That means the output of this operation is on the same page means you have to return this. That means the next operation whatever you are going to perform is on the same page. To call same page object you need object of that class. Who will give that? This we will give. Okay? Now, click on images. Anyhow, we are not going to use it. Now, now let, let me go, go through all others. others. Click on in login, login page. After, After click on sign in, in next to my period, whatever you are going to call is available on the same page, page right? right? After, After click on sign in, you will, will get same sign in, you will be on the same page, page only. only. You are, you are not redirecting to new page. page. That, that is the reason here yeah, yeah, what you can do is return this. this. Okay. okay. Whenever, Whenever you are returning this means same class, class object. Because after performing this click, you will, will be on the same page. page. You are not redirecting to new page. page. If, if it is redirecting to new page, page then you, you use you return, return the object of that new one. one. Okay. okay. Now, now here also return this. this. So, so after, after entering mail ID also you will be on the same page, page only. Okay, okay, you are not, not getting, getting the Gmail, Gmail home page. page. After, after click, click on next, next also, see, here, here two nexts are, are there. If, if you, you click on one next, after Gmail, after email, email ID entering, entering if, if you click on next, you will, will be on the same page. page. After, after clicking on password, if you click on next, after entering password, if you click on next, that, that next is redirecting to new page, right? right? That, that is home page of, of Gmail. Gmail. That's, That's why you write two methods here. One, One second. second. Click next after, after entering password. After Password. After, after entering password. password. Okay. okay. If, if it is that case, it, it should return that, that new page object. object. Otherwise, if, if it is normal next means in the, the same, same only. only. So, so return this. Okay. okay. Return this. After click on after entering password also same thing. Return this after entering password. You, you will be, be on the same page. page. After clicking, clicking on next only, only, you will be going to another one. Okay. okay. See, See here. here. This, this click, click on next. Click on next after entering password. password. Whenever you call this next after entering password, it will redirect to Gmail home page. Right? right? So, so Gmail home page object, object it has, has to return. return because that, that click, click is causing to new page. page. Okay. okay. So, here, return, new 
and this is page, page object, object. New, new page object, object. Okay. okay what, what is, is the new page, page? gmail home page it's, it's subject we are trying to return, return. Okay. okay so, so it's a return type also should say if a method is returning int variable it's a return type should be int if a method is returning object of some class gmail home page it's a return type should be gmail home page okay here it is a returning this means same class what is this class gmail login page class same class object this always points to current class object okay current class object only it is returning what is the current class gmail login page okay got it now here similarly in gmail after click on compose what happens it will, we will get new page consider new mail option whatever we are getting that also a new page so this is click on compose this method is causing a new page okay so new how to return the object return create object while creating the object pass driver because that class has a constructor which can take driver object okay now it's a return type also we should change got it guys now see here I am going to modify all these now. No, no need to create objects explicitly because the, the methods, whatever it is, see here, click on compose, causing new page. That's why inside click on compose, we have written the statement of returning new page or new class object. Okay. Similarly, click on this next also, we changed. Okay. Now. Using, see here, without creating the object, just click on sign. Okay, can what it will do after click on sign in? Sign in is available in Gmail login page. It's a written type is this, right? So see here, if you see here, it's a written type is Gmail login page only. That means same page. Okay, so. Using that, that object, what, what you can do? do? The, the methods, whatever available in Gmail login page, page you can access. Enter, enter mail ID. Okay. Again, Again it will return, return this. This, this means current class object. object. Where, Where this is available in Gmail, Gmail login page. page. That, that class object only this method will return. Using that, that object, you can call methods of that. that. Okay. okay. Click, click on next is available in the same class. After that, click on. Sorry. After, After click, click on next, enter, enter password, password, right? Enter, enter password. password. Okay. After, After that, click on click method. method. After entering the password. Okay. Now. Now. After, After that. After entering that, that, we will get Gmail home page. There. there. Click, click on compose. Will, will be there. Okay. okay. Click, click on compose. Let, let me go through the next line. line. That. Okay. okay. Now, now enter to fill data and then enter. See here because in new page we did not modify all those. That's why this enter to fill is not written in any object. Right? That's why there we are unable to call the method, unable to call or access these methods because to enter field. Is, is not written. Here, here we did not modify. modify. We have to modify. modify. Okay. okay. Now, now return, return all this. Here, here also you modify. modify. Got, Got it, guys? guys? Because this method I am able to access. access. Because this class object is written by compose. After entering data to two field, see, I am after that I am unable to get, get the, the methods of that same class because those methods are not written in any type, any object, object right? right? Now, now I am going to change it. Now, what, what is the written type? type? This, this, this. Same, same class. class. Okay. okay. Return this. this.
for, for each class, we are writing a constructor and initializing the instance variable driver, right? So, so that same driver will be used across the program execution, okay? Options of that page, we are writing like a method for each option. Okay, okay, depends if it is a click, click method, if it is a send data, send data, send data, data method. Inside, inside that, we will pass the X path and, and all. Okay. okay, and, and some operations like click and, and all takes you to the new page. page. The, the return type of that, that method, method should be the object of new page. page. Okay. okay, if click results is in the same page, page return this. Okay. okay, for, for that, that methods, return type is this. Got it? See, it, it executed two methods we wrote. In, in one, one method only we implemented actual code, and another method, method just in, in mail, mail, ID, mail ID, error message, we did not implement. Empty code, code is there, but it executed and it is showing past. Okay. okay. Performance wise, no, no difference, but the readability wise and all, maybe it will be easy. Because see here, instead of creating multiple and then doing every time, instead of that, See here, number of lines, how many it will go, if it is having 100, line number 1 to 100, you can, it will take some time to go. Here just you can see here, okay, he is clicking on Gmail, sign in and like manual procedure. Now, let me try to add another test case just to verify the error message. See here. Verify error messages. Where, Where do we get that? that? See, guys, in Gmail, after entering mail ID, okay, if you enter wrong mail ID, it will come in login page, right? So, login page, what I am trying to do is trying to write another method where if enter invalid mail ID, right? See here. Same, same method, method I am copy pasting. Enter invalid mail ID. Okay. So invalid mail ID one. We have already one test case. From there we will iterate and then we will verify that. See here. So. Enter invalid mail ID. So return this after entering invalid mail ID. It will be on the same page. It is not going to new page. Okay. And verify error messages. Verify invalid error messages. Public wide verify invalid error messages. Okay. Like, like these two, two methods, methods I implemented because these, these two will, will come in the same page, right? right? So, so reading this data, data and all comes in the same. same. So, so what I am going to do is in this test case, case Gmail, Gmail object they, they created, right? Just it. Google page object, object create and then dot Click on Gmail and, and then, then after that, that click, click on sign in. After that, that enter invalid mail ID. Okay. After, after that, that, enter sorry, verify error messages. Invalid error messages. Okay. Now, now let, let me run this. 
So I am going, going to run only the second one. one. We'll see. So from this page object, we can easily identify where methods are available, okay? So we can use it. If it is not there, we can go and implement. See, this test failed because after, see here, this is test failed. Reason is after entering made ID, we need to click on it. Then only we will get the error message. That, that is, is the, the reason, reason see here. here. Okay, that. that after method closed the browser, browser. Let, let me call the method, method. Click, click on next. next. Okay. okay. Because, because without, without clicking, clicking on next, next we won't get the error, error message. message. Okay. okay. Now, now let, let it run. Okay. What, what till, till now we are, are seeing the reports that the test, test pass failed, skipped. Those, Those things, things whatever we are seeing, seeing right? Those, Those are like the, the method. Those are, are the results generated by test ng itself. Okay. In addition to test ng, some other new tools like ATU Reporter. Another one is there. It is a third party software. Okay. If you use that one, that, that is test ng supported only, but not by test ng by some, some other, other third party, party tool. Okay, okay, if you, you use that, that one, using means they, they will provide you a jar. That, that jar, jar you link it to our program through build, build path. path. Then it, it will generate excellent reports. Let, let me show, show that, that one, one, one time. time. Okay, okay, this, this one pass. Here, here when you run this one, right? It, it is showing like test, test cases, cases executed one and failure zero skips zero. Okay, and here, see, after, after console, you can, you can see another graphical format which is generated by test ng itself. Okay, here, here what is the test case, case and pages test cases, cases what, what is the class, okay, okay. And, and what, what is, is the test, test suit. Actually, actually, this is the test case. case. Sometime back, back I mentioned, I showed one example, one image, test, test cases. cases Okay, okay, test cases, cases are available inside, inside some class, class pages, pages class. Okay, okay are inside pages, pages is the package, class, class name is test, test cases. cases. Invalid mail DD error is the test case, case name. That, that is available in one class test cases. cases. That, that is available in one test. That, that is available in one suit. Okay, okay. That, that we will, will see in tomorrow's class. class. Before going to that, let me explain one more. After that, right, in, in console it will show this, in addition to that, beside console you can see another one also, like this graphical, small graphical represent of the test cases, by test ng. Okay, in Selenium project, just to refresh, you can see your test outputs, one folder, in that index.html. When, when you, you click, click on refresh, refresh right, your, your project to refresh, you will, will get test iPhone output. This is folder also generated by test ng itself. Okay. By, by default, test ng, if you are using test ng alone, you will get this. Here also we can get all. Okay. So details of our test cases. How many test cases it executed. Okay. How many are there. Total, total and, and what are the test case details, details. Okay, okay if it fails what is the error and all it will show here, here. okay now, now we will go to a to your reporter that is simple one for, for that we need to download one file a to your reporter jar once if you download it attach it to see here build path configure build path here a to your reporter okay ATU reporter, see here. These, These things I downloaded and added it. When you download ATU reporter related 
you will, will get, get a zip file when you extract these two jars you will get just to add those to build path okay after adding to build path what we need to do is let me show the example already i have one default package see we have some listeners there is an annotation called listener okay this is fixed one standard we need to add this before your class you need to add this one before your class okay got it you need to add this line these three listeners listeners are some classes what happens is when some operation some event occurs automatically it will identify it will, it will identify and, and it will perform some action based on the event, event performed okay, okay. So, so whenever pass fail like that selenium whenever something fails test case pass or skipped automatically it will generate some of the events those events are listened by these listeners and these will be useful for generating our reports okay atu reports okay so same, same like, like before class, class like that, that i have in addition to that what you supposed to do is one is setting in the class path another one is add listener annotation before your class and there will be a file after downloading atu reporters jar file zip file when you extract you will get two jars in addition to two jars you will get one atu properties file Okay, okay, that, that properties, properties file path you need to set. set. Okay. okay. See, See, let me show you in my desktop, desktop Selenium folder. There, ATU. There, there I have that. that. No, no need, need to, to do, do any changes. Just, just download, download the jar and, and then, sorry, in Selenium. It, it is there. there. Okay. okay. Here, Here, like, like this, we will get, get the jar. jar. Selenium. A supported ATU reporter jar. When you extract, you will get these files. Okay. So these two jars you need to add it to build path, as I showed some time back. And the ATU properties path you need to set, like how we are setting Chrome driver exe. Similarly, ATU dot reporter dot config one attribute is there. System property you need to set the path of that properties file. Okay. And in addition to that, yet you use report start set web driver. You need to set the driver object to that set web driver method of yet you report. Then whatever the operations we do, the remaining all are same. See here, I have a class. Okay, simple. Inside that, inside that class, I have a before method. In before method, generally what we do. Setting the property of Chrome driver exe and creating the object. In addition to that, what I am doing is I am setting the properties of ATU file also, and this driver object, whatever we created, that I am setting to ATU reports also. Okay. Then simple two test cases I have. See here, test one. Assert dot fail. Forcefully, I am failing the test case. Whatever we have discussed on that day. Another one is. Skipping the test case. Third one is Gmail related. Just some operation we are doing in third test case, right? See here, just some operations I am trying to do. Okay. See these three are there. Now let me see here in third test case what I am trying to do. Open Gmail. Click on Gmail. Click on sign in. After sign in, I am trying to entering invalid mail ID. See here. Entering invalid mail ID and then clicking on next and then wait for five minutes. Sorry, five seconds. Because immediately after click next, page won't load, right? That's why waiting for five seconds and then read for the error message. If it exists, that means test case passed. If this error message doesn't exist, we won't find a div tag with the error message. That means here it will throw the exception. It, it throws, throws the exception means we are, we are not handling it using try catch, catch right? right? Line, line number 85. 85. So, so immediately, whenever if it did not find the 
element with the error message, it will throw the exception. Whenever exception throws, test case will fail. Okay. If it finds that element properly, it won't throw exception. That means test case three will pass. Okay. Now, what are the things we have here? One before method we have. Okay. Inside before method, all the launch browser and all we have written. Okay. So, so one, one test, test, three tests we have, have one test we are skipping forcibly, one, one test we are making it fail forcibly, another test just Gmail, one step we are doing, validating error messages. Let, let me run, run this. Okay. okay. Got, Got it? Here, here how to set, set. these three, three are important. One, one is setting the listeners, another one is setting getting your properties file, another one is setting the driver. Okay. And, and then build, build path. path. Yeah, Add the jars of ATU reporter related, related to build, build path. path. After, After that, that, you run your, your test test, and, and I will, will show you. you. Yes. yes. Maybe, Maybe other supported, supported one also, also might be there, there some other related. related. Testing supports ATU, ATU reporter. I cannot say like ATU reporter can be supported by only testing. Maybe they may support other things also. I'm not sure. But testing supports it, so we are using it. Okay. See here, three tests. Why only one test? Oh, sorry. Here. Function test 1 and test 2, before that, at the rate test is missing. Okay? At the rate test is missing. That's why it considered only one test case. Let me run it. Okay? At the rate test is missing. That's why it executed only function 3 only. Okay? We will run it and parallelly I will show you. So, so that, that is, is one run. run. This, this is, is another run. run. Like, like that, that, multiple runs, runs we can do. Right? right? Every, Every run results, it will store previous, previous runs also. also. Okay. okay. Previous runs data also, it will store. For that, before your class, you must add those listeners and, and you need to set those two properties. properties. So, the, the benefit, benefit of this one is just you will get a pie charts, bar charts, like, like that, that we will get in diagrammatic representation of these results. How many are passed, failed, and all. If you use alone, test ng alone, we may, may not get that benefit. Okay? And it completed. See, three, three test, test cases, cases it executed. One, one is failed, one is skipped, and another one is passed. passed. If you see here, we, we can pass one, one is function test three. That, that means that the Gmail, Gmail related. Test, test case, case one is failed because we possibly wrote assert that, that fail. Okay. okay. Uh, second, second one, function, function test two is skipped. Okay. Same, Same data, data we can see here. here. But, but see, see here, here error, error C. I am failing test case, case one explicitly, which is line of that. Test change is basics, line, line number 47, 47 is causing this. This, this is, is the function C. Test change is basics class, function test one. Okay, okay the line, line number 47 is causing that. that. See, see here. here. Okay, okay, like that, we will get the error. Here also, also clear, clear error message we will get. From this error message and all, no difference here, here and there. But, but the way of representing the results is different. If you, if you see here, here, it will show failed one, one in class in test ng. Skipped one, one is light yellow color. Passed one, one is green and a tick mark. mark. Okay. okay. Another, Another one here, here we have. Here, here also after doing the refresh, right? right? Project, Project refresh. refresh we will get test ng related. In addition to that, ATU also we will get. Because we have said that. See, first let me show the test ng default one. 
and under the test type and output, whatever you are getting, see here in test type and output. In test type and output, you will be having index.html. If you click on that, you can get these are the three test methods. Total test methods are three one skip, one failed, one passed. Okay, here it is showing. This is the test failed. Okay, red color. Test two skipped. Third one passed. Okay. Uh, if you click on particular one, it's related one right side we can get here function one. What is the reason for failure? Okay, function two. What is the reason for skip? Okay. And function three. It is proper, no issue. That's why we did not get anything. Okay. Now, get you reporter. Here we have something called get you reports. Okay. See here, here, here also you will be having index.html. On index.html, whenever you click, you will get consolidated report like this. Uh, I executed multiple times from morning, that's why first time execution means run one. Same you execute second time, same means it can be one program, n number of program. If you execute using that listeners, that is second run. What are the problem? test cases inside that? One, one or more, different. different. Okay, like, like that. Just, just now, whatever we executed are we will be last. So, so first time we, we forgot to execute. We, we forgot to add at the rate test, test to function, function one and function, function, function two. two. So, so at that, that time it executed only one function. function. That, that is function three. three. Right. So, so test, test cases, cases executed are one. one. Okay. At, at what time it executed? 742. Okay. This, this takes time from our system. Okay. This is the execution date and time. And out of total test 1, how many passed, failed, skipped. Okay. So here you can see okay, graphical representation of that. 100% passed green means pass, red means fail, okay, blue means skip. Okay, here also you can see. In a sense, all methods are only passed methods, you have some filter options also. Okay, skip the methods like that because first time only one method executed, that is only passed one. That's why only passed only you will get fail, skips are not there in first case because. We, we forgot, forgot to add, add that. that. Okay. okay. Suit wise, you can select. Okay. okay. If you have multiple suits. Because by default, here we did not discuss today. Tomorrow we'll discuss about suit. At that, that time, multiple suits, if you have suit wise filter options, will be there. Okay. Um, in addition to failed, pass, test cases. Test, test methods, methods means all, either fail, pass, or skip, whatever it may be. Based on pass, fail, skip, you, you can filter. filter. And, and configuration methods means at the rate before, at the rate after, after those, those are there, right? Before, before method, method, after method, method those we call it as configuration methods. methods. Okay. okay. See, See here, one configuration method before executed. Okay. okay. How, How much time it took? What is that status? Is it passed or failed? All, all the things, things it will show, what is the method, method before method, method. okay? Now, now we will go, go back, back to index and, and then we will see, see last run. Last run we executed three, right? right? Last run is 34, here out of three, one, one pass, one, one fail, based, based on colors and all it will show. By, by default, default all methods it will show. That, that means including configuration methods and test to cases. cases. Okay. okay. If, if you want to you just filter only configuration method, three test cases are there. there. That's, That's why before method is executed three times. times. If, if you, you want to take only failed. Okay. okay. Take failed one, one or else that, that is up to you. you. Okay. Skip one, one like, like that. that. Okay. okay. So, so the, the benefit, benefit of this one is just, just the, the graphical representation of it, okay, okay. and the filter options will be there. If, if you go, go to consolidated report, report here you can see full consolidated, consolidated one. one. Here, here left side index, index it is showing. One one, one, one if you click on any run, run, run that particular run related run only you will get. get. This, this is consolidated, consolidated one. one. Okay. okay, you, you can, can see live chart, line chart, sorry, okay, like this. Just, just like, like our, our graph, graph. Okay. okay? Another, Another one, one is bar sats. Okay? It, it will show like this. 
this is the just benefit of it. You can use anything based on your interest. Okay. So by default, test engine also will give. That's what I have shown for explaining this. And the ATU reporter one, if you want, you must use those listeners before your class, and you will need to add the jar also. Okay. Guys, any doubt in today's one? This is phase, phase object model is very important. Is, is it clear, clear or any doubt in phase, phase object? It's clear for now, but uh, we have to try it once ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, before before trying, please, please remember, remember these things, things in point. Uh, how, how to write, write a new class? class? If it, it is a new phase or, or new window, window. okay? okay. Just, just to look at it. Sometimes what happens is in the same page only consider four options, options are there in the left side. side. Consider like uh, our Gmail, Gmail, let it open. Let me open one thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Here, when, when Gmail homepage loads, that, that is up to you. How will you decide pages or classes? Okay. See, generally new page means by default we have to give new class. class. Okay. Here in inbox, when you click on inbox, in the same page only here related inbox, some content changed. Okay. Important. Related to that something will change. Send mails. So. In, in the home, home page, you, you can, can have, have options, options like inbox, click on inbox, click on send mail, click on box, click on all mail, all, all these. After, After clicking on, on inbox, whatever you will get right related to this inbox, you can, can write new class, class because if you feel so many things are there, in the, the same page only, only all these options are coming. coming. If, if you write all these in one class, you will, will get so many options, options because this space is having a number of options. If you, if you want to divide it based on inbox, you will write inbox space. And, and then, then after click on inbox, whatever you are doing here in inbox space, all those options, you will write methods in inbox class. If you don't want, all you write in one class only, home page. Okay? But Make, Make sure, sure if you are, you are writing new class, class always for that the, the, the click, click which is causing new, uh, new, new class should, should be written the object of that, that new, new page class. class. Okay, new, new page, page object. object. Okay, okay. every page is one class. One class. For, for that class, we can create object. object. If, if a click is or if any operation is causing new page, page the, the written type of that method should be. New, new class object. object. Okay. okay. That how can you remove that message that it is run by automatic software from the browser? What? what? That, that message in the browser, browser that, that it is run by automatic software, software it's, it's not, not coming in yours. Oh, okay. That, that one, huh? By default, maybe, maybe some, some settings problem. problem. That, that is why we will, will get pop-ups and all. Okay. okay. That, that is the reason, reason you people, people are getting. getting. Well, I, am I am not getting. getting. To, to avoid, avoid that one, one I said Chrome options, options might be having, having just search, search for one. one. See, See here. here. Chrome, Chrome options we check, check it, right? Some, Some attribute might be having, if you, you set that attribute, attribute value, value, then, then it will not ask you next time. Through program, you are going to set it. Same, Same thing manually, manually also we can, can do. do. Okay. okay. Where is that? One, one second. second. Here. Here. Chrome, Chrome options. options. Like, like this. Disable pop-up pop pop blocking. blocking. Manually, manually also we can go and do in our browser. browser. Through, Through program, program also we are doing. doing. Similarly, just paste that, that error. Okay. okay. In, in Google, Google ones, you will, will get, get some attribute. attribute. What, what value you supposed to set for that attribute to 
avoid that you can, you can get, get that, that. Okay? okay if you, you don't, don't get, get let, let me know i will try, try and let, let you know tomorrow okay okay, okay. just, just in that, that group just, just paste me the error message that the warning message okay i, I will check that send that so in page object, object this is clear, clear right when a method, method will return this when a method, method will return object, object. If, if that, that method is causing or going to that, that click or any operation is causing new page opening or new window, window opening at that time you need to return the object of that and if it is not causing new page or anything just return this okay every class should have One, one constructor, constructor that the constructor job is to initialize to pass the same driver object throughout all the pages okay okay, okay guys that's, that's it. it and tomorrow's class will cover annotations and then whatever we use it today main id and all we are just simply passing from the program itself In that, that methods, if you see, here, yeah, one, one second, let me open, open. Gmail home base. Yeah. Here, sorry, Gmail home base. No mail. Okay. Here, here. mail ID and all instead of passing from here, from, from the, the method, the guy who will call here, here they have to pass. They, they should also not pass from here, from, from the test case, case because If the here, here you are getting means from, from the test case, case you can pass. pass. From the test case, case also you should not pass static values. values. Enter all the data, data in one XML. Like, like tomorrow, tomorrow I will show you these two fields, user name and password. We will enter in XML. From, from the XML automatically when program executes, it will read and pass the data. Okay, okay tomorrow we see how to pass. Parse the technical data. Okay, that, that we have to write that the logic in before method because before executing our test case, we need to read the XML data and make sure that the data is available in some variables and pass those variables to those methods. So those methods will use that username and password. Okay, and after that we will see annotations and then. Headless browser. Okay, there is a concept called headless browser. Generally, whenever you create object of this driver equal to new Chrome driver, what is happening? It will open Chrome driver. If you are using new Firefox driver, it will open Firefox driver. Firefox browser. If you use IE driver, IE will open. So like this, you can open required one. And, and we, we can, can see the browser interactions also. That means it is do whatever it is performing, like this operations we can see. In case, case of headless, what we will do is it won't open the browser. We will create object of HTML unit driver. One class is there, separate class. We will create object of that class. Whenever you create object of class, that class your program will execute. Okay. But, but we, we cannot see like, like browser, browser opening and, and it is clicking here, here and there. Okay. Then, then what is the use of it? Generally, we should not use it in our testing because it is a virtual one. one. We cannot trust that. that. Okay. Some, some places, places crawler and all some programs are there. They will try to use it just for traversing purpose and all. Okay. For, for our testing, we should not use, use it. Okay, okay guys, guys any, any other doubts Okay, okay. we will wind up for today and we'll meet on tomorrow and, and tomorrow we'll try to cover those three those are the three topics pending okay we'll try to finish it tomorrow okay Okay, okay guys, guys have, have a nice, nice day. day thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you.